myself Abhilash. I work as DevOps consultant with Ashnik. In this demo, I'll be demonstrating how to provision infrastructure using Terraform in a hybrid or multi-cloud environment, as well as implementing security or compliance as part of infrastructure automation. In today's demo, I'll be using GitHub to store the Terraform configuration. I'm going to use two cloud platforms, AWS and DigitalOcean, where the infrastructure are going to be provisioned. Instead of DigitalOcean, you can assume uh, kind of VMware or a private cloud environment in your on-premise for a hybrid cloud approach. As well as I'm going to use Terraform Cloud to securely and reliably deploy infrastructure using Terraform. So this is how your demo flow would look like where a DevOps or Ops person wants to deploy an Nginx web server in your cloud platform, namely AWS and DigitalOcean where the Terraform cloud will pull the Terraform configurations respect to AWS and DigitalOcean from the GitHub and execute Terraform plan. And then the Sentinel policy would be applied to check whether the code, the Terraform configuration is according to the compliance and standard. And then based on that, the Terraform apply would be executed to perform the infrastructure automation what is a Terraform plan or what is a Sentinel policy and what is Terraform apply? All these will be described during the course of the demo. This is the GitHub repository where we have pushed the Terraform configurations for the AWS infrastructure. Terraform has different providers for different cloud platforms. Usually these providers talk to cloud platforms using their APIs. So this is the sample Terraform configuration code and Terraform uses HashiCorp configuration language to describe the resources using blogs, variables and expressions. So here we have defined the AWS security group and the ingress rules and here is the configuration for the EC2 instance creation and then also we are uh, deploying the Nginx package and uh, adding the HTML content into the default directory. Similar to AWS configuration, we have also created a DigitalOcean Terraform configuration, which uses DigitalOcean provider. And then we are creating the VM and the firewall rules uh, similar to the AWS setup. The only difference is here, instead of uh, adding the Nginx package on the fly, we are using a snapshot image. That is the only difference here. So now let's move to Terraform Cloud. So here you can see two workspaces. One is for the AWS and other is for the digital version. So workspace in Terraform Cloud is a way of organizing your infrastructure. Something similar to having a separate directory for your infrastructure configurations. So each workspace has its own Terraform configurations, state files, variables and other settings. So here in the setting, we have configured the version control from where the Terraform configurations are pulled. So here we have for the AWS uh, workspace, we are pulling it from the AWS uh, GitHub repository. And also we have specific the branch from which the code uh, Terraform config has to be pulled. And there is a variable section here where the Terraform variables and other environment variables are maintained. So here we are storing the AWS credentials and any sensitive uh, credentials can be marked as sensitive so that others won't be able to see it. Now let's go and trigger the actual deployment. So now the deployment is triggered. The initial first uh, step is to execute the terraform plan command so terraform plan command gives you the execution plan that you can match with your expectation without actually making any changes to your real resources so this is the terraform plan output you can see all the aws ec2 related configuration and the security group configurations here and then you can also check what are the resources that are planned to add or destroy or change here? So since it's a new uh, setup here, we have two resources to be added, namely the 
EC2 instance and the security group. And there is also a cost estimation field that is provided by the Terraform cloud, which gives you the exact pricing of the AWS infrastructure that you are going to create using the uh, Terraform. So once you check and validate the Terraform plan output and other things, you can go ahead and apply the changes. So this confirmation will trigger the Terraform apply command where your actual infrastructure will be uh, created in the AWS platform. So now Terraform has started creating the AWS security group. And then, so now it is completed and then the AWS instance, which is the EC2 instance is being created now. We can go into the AWS console and check for the EC2 instance. So you can see here that the instance is now being initialized. It will take some time for the instance to create. So now the Terraform apply command is completed and you can see the output and the state files are saved here and each execution the state files are versioned. So you can see the actual configurations of your infrastructure stored as Terraform state here. All the uh, configuration with respect to EC2 and the uh, AWS security group. So the public IP, the private IP, everything you can see it here. Now let's go into this AWS instance and let's try to access the port 80 where the Nginx is running. So you can see that you are able to access the Nginx here from the AWS EC2 instance. Now let's go and see how to create a similar kind of infrastructure in digital Hoshan platform. In real case you might want to add or uh, additional instance of your application in a different environment say from you want to scale your application in a different cloud platform this would be an ideal example so the digital ocean workspace has a uh, similar kind of configurations where we have integrated with the digital ocean related github repositories so let's go and trigger the deployment The same way Terraform plan being executed at the beginning. So you can see all the digital ocean related uh, configurations here. More, more like um, the droplet configurations of digital ocean. The IP address, the inbound rules or firewall rules of the digital oceans. Now let's go and apply these changes. So the DigitalOcean droplet, the VM is being created using the Nginx snapshot image. And once this is done, the firewall rules will be applied. So we can go into digital ocean platform and see whether the VM is being initialized. Yes. So you can see here the VM is being initialized. It will take few seconds to be created. So now the VM is created. You can go and check the public IP, the private IP, and 
you can also see the Terraform apply output in your Terraform cloud and the state files are created similar to what we did in the AWS. So now let's try to access the Digital Ocean Nginx instance. So you can see here that the same a similar kind of setup uh, from AWS is being replicated in Digital Ocean and you are able to access the Nginx instance in the Digital Ocean. So we have seen how to provision an infrastructure parallelly in a multi-cloud environment using Terraform. Now let's see how to implement security and compliance as part of this automation using Sentinel policy. So before we implement the Sentinel policy, let's go and delete the infrastructure that we created in the AWS platform. So you can go to settings and trigger the Terraform destroy command. So this will trigger the uh, destroy of infrastructure. So initially the Terraform plan execution will happen and it will show the output of this plan. What are the resources that are going to be destroyed? So you can see that here two resources are going to be destroyed. You can go ahead and approve this. So meanwhile, uh, this destroy of infrastructure is running. Let's go and see how to implement the Sentinel policy. Sentinel policy is a policy as a code that works to provide compliance with HashiCorp products like Vault, Terraform, and Consul. This is the Sentinel policy that we have uh, here written to restrict the EC2 instance type that can be created as part of the Terraform. So the allow types are t2.small, t2.medium, and t2.large. Any other instance type other than this would not be allowed. So to implement that, we need to tag this Sentinel policy to a specific workspace where you need to implement this. So now let's go ahead and add this to the AWS workspace. Now let's go into the AWS workspace. The infrastructure is destroyed. Now let's try to recreate the infrastructure that we deleted now. So the Sentinel policy would be executed in between Terraform plan and Terraform apply command. So the Terraform plan is executed and now you can see a new thing like policy check. So here you can see that the policy check has failed and it's because of we are using the EC2 type as t2.micro which is not in the list of allowed instance type. Same way you can implement other security and compliance related policy as part of your infrastructure automation. Few Sentinel policy would be cloud specific and few Sentinel policy can be implemented commonly across any of your deployment flow. So in this demo, we have seen how to provision your infrastructure in a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud environment in a uniformed and seamless way using Terraform and also implement security or compliance as part of your infrastructure automation. That's all for the demo today. Thank you.